my, my brother went to jail for four years. Yeah. The first thing he did when he ran out of the prison was to smoke, eh? Ayo. Like Ayo. how like you see how stupid smokers can get, you Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Real Talk. My name is Dew. I'm John. I'm Stefan. And I'm Jade. And today we're gonna discuss. Who here has ever smoked? Still a smoker. I started smoking when I was 14, I think. Wow, And now I am 26, so that makes it 12 oh years of smoking. I always think back to like when, when I tried cigarettes, um, I was 15. All these underage smokers. So obviously it's not my cigarette lah, so I have a friend that smoked. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember like smoking and then like it was very hard, but you try to like play off like you be mad about it. Like yeah. when you first try to inhale, you already want to cough already, but you, mm. you try not to look like a little <laughs> right? So you just deal with it. Then you <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, I don't know why I even tried it again. So I had this Thai friend in school, his name was And then uh, we were playing bowling And then he was like, yo I got to stick a cigarette, you wanna try it? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> no, the Okay, so after I took the first bar, white went through my hair I was like, I didn't like it They said like crap And then I started coughing And then uh, I acted like I, I, I was cool la. Like what John said, so yeah. I was like <laughs> I was low one right <laughs> And I was like, yo man, I'm a man <laughs> I'm a 40 year old man So I took another puff la. So I thought it was cool uh, I went back to school and started telling all my friends like, yo bro, I smoke <laughs> You feel like such a loser now right? <laughs> <laughs> like when you want to be man and you want to be cool It's not talking about holding a cigarette that makes you cool It's the fact that you Except don't want to yeah. be the guy that cannot hey, man, I was Hitting my finals, I really smoked a lot. But when exams and I literally don't smoke anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because like I'm not stressed. It's like for me, as in like, I realize that smoking is just a coping mechanism for me to deal with stress. So I feel that that is wrong. So it's either you deal with your stress properly, which is like a healthy way, like mm. exercise. Like exercising for me helps a lot. So I suggest that more people exercise, and then if you smoke after you exercise, right, then you really feel the effects of the cigarette. Yeah. Yeah. So I stop social smoking and then was because so I have to think about the impact that I'm having on the people around me. Because right. I discovered cigarettes in like my little sister's bag. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's all my fault. I couldn't help but always think about, oh my gosh, what if I influence my family? What if I influence my kids when mm. I'm older? Mm. So that's always been So what do you do? Do you, do you tell them? You no, know, no, 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 I didn't. I, I told my mother. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You that pal talk here, sir! <laughs> <laughs> and the worst part was I was still smoking. You know, you know, okay, but you know what's the worst part about that? No? Is that as a smoker, I wouldn't want my, my kids to smoke, right? But if I tell my kids not to smoke and I smoke, right? Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. It's not gonna work. No, but you yeah. stop smoking for your kids. Yeah, would you stop yeah, smoking? Would... That's the thing. You would definitely wouldn't want your kids to smoke. Now I understand why my parents say don't smoke, right? But now that I'm a smoker and I get married and I have kids. <laughs> Yo, don't smoke. Why you smoke, daddy? Yeah. See, that's at the end of the conversation Argument. because it doesn't make sense. So, so if I were to weigh out the pros and cons of smoking, right? So the pros, number one is that you feel like you have a goal. If someone forces you to work hard, just for the at end of the day, you get that that smoke break, right? You will do it just for the smoke break. One of the benefits of smoking is it's really quite easy to make friends. Yeah. yeah, that's hard to deny. That's yeah. hard to deny. Correct. Everyone's yeah, getting the same. Everyone's doing answer. the same thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the cons of smoking <laughs> mood will get all like messed up. I will get angry very easily. Oh, you really yeah. very. You see a mood change. Yeah. You don't smoke. Yeah. Well, I will get, you need to quit, bro. Like seriously, you need to quit. So I will get angry very fast, and then I will get sleepy. Like after oh, really? I eat, if I don't smoke, I will get then sleepy. I will just be like, wow, I cannot really smoke. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Your body is like withdrawing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it's my body is like reacting, telling me that I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it. It's also bad for your skin. The impact on my teeth and my skin was not worth mm. it. Oh, yeah, yeah, me too. I don't know, it just depends on what you prioritize, right? If you're like me and you're vain and you spend a lot of money on it, 
mm. then you're not going to want to ruin it with mm. cigarettes. So some misconceptions of why people continue smoking is number one, they say they're going to smoke lower levels of nicotine or lower levels of tar cigarettes and then it's not going to be so bad, right? Because they won't get addicted. As a smoker, I'll tell you that it's not true because nicotine itself gets you addicted. It's still taking in the substance. La. Yeah, it compounds. Yeah. Yeah. Skate, skate, la, 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 la. has no way of leaving your body. Yeah. So, so the people say, oh, I stress because I smoke. Mm. I smoke Wait, I stress. Wait, I smoke. Yeah. Art. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I smoke because I stress. Boom, I think it doesn't make sense. You will only understand the relief that you get from smoking if you are a smoker. Like, you don't understand the, the feeling that you get, so why are you giving yourself these types of excuses? I'll tell you the stupid things we do just for a cigarette. If I had $13 in my wallet right now, it's my last $13 of the world. <laughs> Correct. I would buy cigarettes instead of food. And instead you know of how, five meals. <laughs> yeah. The worst I ever went is pick up cigarettes from the dustbin. Wow, that's good. no way. Yeah. I was I was like broke, young. I was like, wow, I really need to smoke, man. And I like wait downstairs to see any guys. You never like. like my trick was wait at the bus stop, right? Because yeah. like the bus comes, I be like, oh, shit, oh, they like. Pop, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, bro. No, but I get it, though. I, mean, I get it. But yeah, but it's, it's so, so stupid. Like, why does anyone start smoking? We will tell you what the reason that everyone will tell you like is basically peer pressure, right? It's not peer pressure by one person. It's like a community thing. Yeah. You see other people doing it, you're yeah. gonna But I, I think it's lame. So when I told my friend like, yo, I started smoking, and then. Oh, you smoke, so you smoke, can I cook how, can I clean mm. how? So when she started telling me this kind of things, like I already know, right? But then like, when she asked me why do you even smoke or why do you start? There's no good reason for it. Like there's no proper yeah, reason or why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I were to list out the reasons or why people smoke, right? And as a smoker now and I see it, I think everything doesn't make sense. Yeah. So do you want to quit? Do you actually want to quit? Definitely. I want to lah. I want to, but it's them, it's very tough. I think like, the hardest the... thing about quitting smoking, right, yeah. is that all your friends smoke. You know, some people just, it's harder to quit because all your, your surroundings, because everyone, everyone around you smokes as well, because right? it's a community thing. Yeah. Yeah. If your friend is trying to quit, and he's like, I'm trying to quit, and then like he doesn't buy a bag, and you're smoking in front of him, and he's like, can I have one? Say, no. <laughs> Say like, no. Just try. Sometimes it's really like, your state of mind, like, if you really want to quit, you will quit. You will quit. Okay, so, so as a smoker, obviously I thought of quitting before. And, and, and it's so difficult and I tell you and when I say difficult it's like really very 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 difficult it's like it hurts it hurts like physically kind of. and every time like when it hurts like physically I just think to myself like is it really worth it was the first thing really worth it lah and I heard from my friends okay it's choking it's choking it's choking it's choking it's choking it's <laughs> Every time I try quitting and then I just realize how stupid I am because it just hurts. It hurts so much to quit. <laughs> I really like it really, really hurt. And I have asthma too and I'm still oh, a smoker. That's how stupid I am, yeah. So I read this book. Um, if you if you intend to quit smoking, you should totally read this book. It's called The Easy Way to Quit Smoking by Ellen. Let's put the link below. It, it explains right why why sometimes people want to smoke. Very often it starts with the early habits when you finish eating then you go and smoke. Hence, all these are usually pleasure parts of your day, right? And after your meal, you typically feel like good because your, your body is satisfied. And so, when a smoker smokes and they top up whatever nicotine as well, right? Yeah. You are basically feeling as good as how a non-smoker would feel on like 24 hours a day. I understand. Slowly over time, your body ties feeling good with cigarettes. I see, I see. When it's not the nicotine making you feeling good. It's actually just the... Correct. I mean, it's a little bit of neuro linguistic programming. Oh, oh. I think many of us try and many of us regret trying. Don't just try for fun lah. Cause no smoker today I can tell you wanted to pick up smoking. I would say 99% of them don't want to pick up smoking one. But here they are thinking that they will not get addicted but they are. So that's the end of the episode. I hope you guys learned something. Learned something. And I hope the non-smokers do not start smoking. Don't start smoking. So for Singaporean viewers who are watching this, if you guys ever ever call the hotline, the quitting hotline before, let us know what happens, eh? Yeah, let us know what happens because yeah. I never I never tried it before. Call the hotline, the hotline call your mother. <laughs> <laughs>